today we're gonna be eating rapper's last meal. Now these rappers have all passed away. Rest in peace. This means we are gonna be trying rapper meals such as Juice World, XX Tentacion. Juice World, aka Jared Higgins, was a talented rapper, singer, and songwriter from Chicago, Illinois. Rising to fame in the late 2010s, he became known for his emotive lyrics, catchy melodies, and unique blend of hip hop and emo music. His breakout hit album, Lucid Dream, gathered widespread acclaim and established him as a prominent figure in the music industry. Despite his success, Juice World struggled with substance and abuse and mental health issues, which often addressed in his music. Tragically, it passed away in December 2019 at the age of 21. So, if you don't know, Juice World is actually most favorite rapper of all time. The guy loved his food, enjoyed things like burgers, pastas. Pizza. One of his all-time favorite meals was chicken. We got Wingstop. I ordered original wings from Wingstop, which is a buffalo wing. Oh, what the? F they gave me boneless. I asked for. F I asked for wings. Right, look, so we got the buffalo ones here. Want to take a bite? <laughs> no, I'm real. Oh my god, that's just. Really anyway, that was hungry. Chat. I'm gonna say seven out of ten. I'm not a huge fan on buffalo. It's a decent flavor, but I feel like it's just too hot. For XX Tatasia, manufactured artist known for his versatile music style, which blended elements of hip hop, emo, and alternative rock, emerging from SoundCloud rap scene, quickly gained attention with his distinctive sound and introspective lyrics. XX Tentacion's music often developed his themes of mental health, depression, and personal struggles. Despite facing legal issues and controversy, he maintained a devoted fan base drawn to his raw authenticity and emotional vulnerability. He sadly, passed away June 2018 as he was shot at the age of 20. Next one is one of the rappers. I still listen to him, oh, just not that much. I always hear him everywhere. Apparently, Ima said Sex and Tassian's last meal was a steak. We're gonna have to cook the steak first because obviously, as you can see, it's raw salt, pepper. I think my favorite song from Sex and Tassian was Look at Me. Falling Down, that's pretty good. Wait, is that by X? Like, Moonlight is all oh, yeah. Moonlight. Yeah, every song XXX just made are really good. If you were in that time with him and then Lil Uzi, it was just a prime time. What the f? I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> gonna see if it's Sam approved. No, smell. Here we go, sizzle. I forgot how long you cook steak for. What does it look like that? Alright, so now to get some extra seasoning, you're gonna just- Yeah, I don't think this came out right. That's the worst f***ing steak. I mean, this is the best steak you'll find. You know it's a good steak? And blood coming up. You see you got blood here. You're just gonna wanna dip it in. Let's try a bite. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Oh wow. I mean, it's pretty obvious to see why XX likes steak. The majority of people enjoy steak. I know when I enjoy this steak. I mean, I know it might look like an unknown species. You might have to go and lock down with this shit. It's, it's alright. Try some more. Approved. You didn't even. Whoa. Is it Tentacion? I know time. Tupac's career was also known as Tupac. He was an iconic figure in the world of hip hop and a cultural phenomenon. Born in the East Harlem West, Tupac rose to prominence in his early 1990s as a rapper, actor, and activist. Known for his powerful lyrics, social commentary, genetic charisma, he addressed issues such as racial inequality, police brutality, inner city life, and music. Beyond music, Tupac was a vocal advocate for social justice and used his platform to speak out against injustice and empowering marginalized communities. Tragically, Tupac's life was cut short when he was fatally shot in September 1996 at the age of 25. So for the next rapper, I never really listened to Tupac. A lot of my friends tend to really enjoy him. Obviously, Tupac's a massive name. So Tupac's favorite meal was In and Out, but we live in the UK, so we don't have In and Out. What we're working with is his next one, which is Chicken Wing. I mean, wings. Who doesn't love wings? Wings is always a good thing to eat. Say nine out of ten. Wings are always good. Like if you f wings, I don't know how you done it. It's like messing up a salad. King Von was a rising star in the world of drill rap, hailing from Chicago's South Side. He gained prominence for his gritty storytelling and his authentic portrayal of street life. King Von's music resonated with the listeners due to its raw honesty and complaining narratives, often drawing from his own experiences growing up with challenging environments. Despite encountering legal troubles and violence, he remained focused his music career, releasing series of acclaimed mixtapes and collaborations with fellow artists. Tragically, King Von's promising career was cut short when he was fatally shot in November 2020. Okay, so for the next song, we have King Von. Now, I actually don't don't know anything about King Von, any of his music, but he did pass away, sadly, rest in peace. We are going to be making his traditional meal. Scrambled eggs, pancakes, and like strawberry milk. Bit of a strange one. I haven't made pancakes in a while. The hardest part about making pancakes is oil. If you watched my last video, you'll know why. One egg, maybe one teaspoon of baking powder, tiny bit of salt. Also as well, if you can't tell, it's nighttime right now. I chat today as well. I bought, I tried seaweed for the first time. Shout out to my Japanese people for oh, We're gonna whiz it up. <laughs> that shit sound like a FNAF drum script. That shit's way too watery. It feels like diarrhea. More flour, because we don't want the pancakes watery. Now we got a thicker system. Gonna add it to the pan. I think when it like bubbles at the top, and you got like a good ass pancake. Hold up, wait, this is actually not bad. <laughs> Alright, this is. Oh, uh, domain expense. Look at this. Oh my f***ing 
Not everything is perfect, alright? We're just gonna whisk that up. Bust the bitch! I love it. Why are they so f***ing white? Look at that. Grambled eggs and pancakes. Oh yeah, that's a good ass one. Come on, that's pretty good. Big old glass of that. <laughs> we got an egg here, and then some pancake. I'm gonna try it one on one, and I'm gonna try it together. Mm. And we got the egg. Now, I think Americans do this a lot. I don't think we do this in the UK. Because if you live in the UK, the main thing you're probably gonna eat is beans and toast. It's actually not even that bad. It's really, really not that bad. We also got strawberry milk. I don't want to like strawberry milk. I'll try it anyway. Yeah, that's just way too sweet. You know what? I give this a 6 out of 10 just because it's not worth having a meal. Because I love pancakes so much, I'm gonna give it an 8. Alright, so it turns out the milk I just ate is one day old. So, Easy, tell me, how is your life as a youngster? Now, Easy E was a bit different. The founding members of legendary rap group NWA, known for a high distinctive pitched voice, charismatic persona, and provocative lyrics. Easy E played a massive role in shaping the sound of style of the West Coast rap in the late 1980s and early 1990s. As a founder of the Ruthless Records, he provided a platform for emerging artists, including Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, and MC Ren. Helping to launch the careers, Easy E's solo debut, Easy Does It, by his status as a solo artist and Features his hit singles Boys in the Hood. Easy E's life was tragically cut short when he succumbed to complications from AIDS in March 1995 at the age of 31. The final meal today, we are trying Easy E's meal. His favorite food, or his last meal, or fried chicken. I never tried the mango habanero flavor. I did try one bite, spicy as food. Like, I don't know who the f likes this shit, but I feel bad for your asshole. But we're gonna take another bite and we're gonna rate it. Easy E really likes fried chicken. So we're gonna take a bite of this fried chicken. Now, it's just so fing unnecessarily spicy. When you stop, I don't know what the f you're doing. It's a roll of approved. <laughs> Easy Ease meal. I began up at like 3 a.m. in the morning and be making the most luxurious fried chicken you've ever seen in your fing life. But yeah, nice. Like, if you don't like fried chicken, unsubscribe right now. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video today. It's a bit of a different video, a bit of a different style. Would like to see me try anything else down in the comment section below or even hit me up with my DMs on Instagram. I check my DMs all the time. Yeah, if you haven't already gone and subscribed to the second channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. And yeah, take care.